the Senate Committee Chairman, Olivia Council, and Lord Auxiliary Matters, my dear brother, Senator Jim Kuta, the representative of Abuja South in the House of Representatives, the representative of the Chairman of House Committee of Area Council and other auxiliary matters that is there, uh, there are distinguished senators, seven of you that are here, but let me give honor to whom honor is due, somebody who has shown connection to his people, somebody his people have identified who has contributed so much to them, and somebody that will continue to represent his people. Senator Philip Tanimu Adudwa. I have two zonal chairmen, the zonal chairman of APC, Chief Victor Gadam of South South, and Chief Danobe, zonal chairman of PDP from South South, are all here. The former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Kratua Vuchibudom Uche. The single senators who came with me, who has always been with us since last week from Monday, Senator Magnus Abe, Senator Mao Habuwa, Senator uh, George Thompson Sakibo, Senator Professor Sandy Ono, and other former National Assembly members that are here. Chairman of Area Councils, Senator Makawobo, Chairman of Area Councils, particularly the Chairman of Algon, who is the Chairman of Kwali Local Government. I want to sincerely thank all of you. The Chief of Staff, the Head of Service, Monday Secretaries and Permanent Secretaries that are here, our dear leaders, our royal fathers, who have come out here in their numbers to support what is going on here today. Let me recognize the Managing Director of L&D, Nigeria Limited, who spoke very well on behalf of L&D, and who has given commitment of what they are going to do. The, Group Managing Director of Abuja Investment uh, Company that is here. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, of all the programs we have had, of all the projects we have flagged off, this is particularly touchy. This particular project is particularly touchy. When we were coming and we were discussing with Senator Mao have one day in the car. First of all, something happened, and I want to find out, and that's why this country, where is Director of Engineering? Is here. Director of Engineering Services of First City? Is here. Come, come. STD Coordinator? Is here. Come. Now, you see why this country is difficult? that we will move forward. Now, most of you may not understand. First then, most of you don't understand. While they are coming from the express road, they call that A2 to Pi. Now, they abandoned to award our contract I started from Pi to Gomani. Now, if you do Pi to Gomani, how do you come to Pi when that A2 is not working? Whoever that masterminded that, you are not being fair. You are not being fair. And we can continue this way. 
the truth must be told at all uh, time. So as I was coming, I called the chairman of House Committee on FCT. I said, Mr. Chairman, I have a problem. And that problem is that I want to have a vehement. That is a budget. I feel that, look, we're all human. We're all human. How will those people feel that you are passing the area that's no road? And then you are coming to an area that, I mean, how would they feel? So Mr. Chairman agreed with me and said immediately I should send the letter for verbiage. I called the permanent secretary treasury and I called the director of procurement. I said before I come back, let the letter be on my table that we have to make verbiage of a particular sum. And we are going to do A2 to PI as a emergency project. Go. Go, coordinator, go. You see, that is the advantage. That is the advantage of coming to see the project you are doing. Assuming we did not come here to flag on this project. And tomorrow, the Senate project is ready for commissioning. And then you are coming. There's no road. I said, where are we heading to? Then you get to Pai. Then the road is good. The people of Pai will never forgive you. So, and that is why you know the government of Bola Ahmed Tinibu will allow everybody to benefit, to participate, to have the dividend of democracy. Are you happy? Are you happy? So, and, and that is what I have told our people. Mr. President, I promise you, give me time. Be patient. I will get to all of you. When I mean all of you, not as a person, but to all the area councils, you must have the impact of the government of Aswaji Ahmed Bola Tinibu, who is the President and Commander-in-Chief. Let me tell you, and I want to say clearly, let anybody hear me. Ahmed Tinibu did not make me minister to come and sell land here. I did not become a minister to come and sell land. I took the position to support Mr. President to prove the infrastructure of that city. And that is why every day our concern is infrastructure, 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 and infrastructure. Be it in the city, be it in the rural uh, areas. So some of those who had the opportunity to be minister here, who may be angry, who claim they love you, ask them. What happened when you were a minister? Did you come to rural areas? Did you come to rural areas? No. Did you see them? No. Are you seeing us now? Yes. And you are happy now? Yes. That is what the government of Aswaji Bona Tribu stands uh, for. The people must see you. The people must have the impact of you. We are not going to a television just to talk. We don't believe in 3Ds. Do we believe in 3Ds? No. Our only sin is what? Believing. Let me tell the contractor, now you have made your pledge. We also make our own pledge here. If you can even try to do less than 12 months, your money is available. Yeah. 
Because look at why should Nigeria complain about food? Look at land. Why should we import food? But why would we not have problem of food when there's no road? Even if our farmers have access, assuming they go to the track road to the farm and they produce food, how would they bring it to the city without road? Now that they have road, wouldn't they bring their food out? I thank all of you. Support the company so that this project will be completed on schedule. I thank the Area Council Chairman. You have shown commitment. It is not based on party affiliation. Party is a vehicle that converts you to a destination. And then you talk about governance. Governance has nothing to do, I mean PDP. Governance has nothing to do with, I mean APC. Governance has nothing to do, I'm representing Labour Party somewhere. Governors have to do with the people, the happiness of the people. That's all about governance. Reducing the sufferings of the people. So whether you're in PDP, whether you're in APC, where you don't even belong to any party, you must reduce this road, is it not? And that is all we are talking about. So this road. It's very, very important. Very, very important. No matter how far it is, we will make our time from time to time to see that we come here and see the contractor is doing what he's supposed to do. Now, the coordinator of STD and the director of engineering, let me say this. We must help our people and reduce bureaucratic bottleneck so we can achieve results. Sometimes we allow a procurement process to take three, four months. Now we're having the dry season. If we don't utilize it now, then we will not be able to achieve the result. So what you have to monitor and see how the contractor is performing and also be sending his certificate for payment. Don't delay the certificate because we have not seen the contractor. The only way I can see the contractor is that the contractor is working here. The contractor should not see anywhere. And that is the truth of the matter. Let us make our people happy. I mean, we cannot say we support them as a president to be president, and then we will not support him to succeed. Does it make sense? Having, succeed, having uh, supported him to win the election, we must then be on whatever it is in us to, do us, uh, to make him to succeed, for Nigerians to be happy, for Nigerians to move forward. Our traditional rulers, we want to thank you for the support you have been given to the area council chairman for collaboration to see that you work in harmony. When the chairman of Kuali said, I've never touched the allocation, I don't even know what you have. I was chairman of one of the most richest local government in those days. I don't know what it is now. I was a governor for eight years. Not just a governor, a very important governor then. So I don't know why I should be tampering the local government uh, fund. It's not necessary. Why should I tamper with your fund? You campaigned. You told your people if they elect you, what they're going to do. Well, I'm a terrible campaign. I said, if he's elected, this is what we're going to do. Therefore, we are focused on make sure that the president succeeds and achieves what he has told the people. So, so we want you to succeed because you campaigned, 
to your people. They should vote for you. If they vote for you, you are going to do this and you are going to do that. I feel proud when I say a council chairman come out to say, sir, I want you to challenge me. Come to and see what I'm doing. That was what it used to be when we were chairman of council. Yes, it is not easy for you to say a council chairman to come in the public to say, sir, challenge me. Come. That was what was happening in our own days. We challenged the government. We challenged the state government. And people saw what we did. Up to today, people saw what we did. And that's why, as a minister, too, this opportunity given to Robert, Mr. President, would not let it go like that. We said, Mr. President, you don't make a mistake. Particularly when it, people opposed vehemently uh, for becoming Minister of FCT. I thank the President for giving us this opportunity to show them the way, to show them the difference. And we are showing them the difference. If you didn't do you didn't do it. It doesn't matter how many times you abuse me. It doesn't matter whatever you say. If we don't have the capacity, we don't have the capacity. We have the capacity. So I thank you. Please, the contractor, utilize this period. We're not going to November, December, January, February, March. By that time, probably we'll have finished all the earth work. And then, even if rain comes, we'll not have much problem. I believe in you, I know. I see your capacity. I see how many jobs you have done. So you're not one of those contractors that will go and marry the second wife or third wife now. No. I know that you fully concentrate and finish this job. So on that note, my dear brothers and sisters, I join you to join us as we flag off this Pai Gomani, and then we'll come back and flag off later a to to pie. Thank you and God bless you. Again, the Honorable Minister has spoken his mind. He has talked about how the other part of the road he is going to ensure the environment to make it possible. As I said much earlier, food is the center of Nigeria. And our food is unprecedented all over the world. Our jollof rice, our fufu, our pounded yam. Nobody can contest Nigerian food and the farms are here in Pai Gomani Road, and, and all of it will be brought to fruition in a couple of months' time. We congratulate the FCT administration, and as the minister mounts the grader and flags off this road, as always, when he comes down from the grader, it will be time for the group photograph and then the national anthem. The Honorable Minister is already seated in the grader to flag off this project. And very soon, the contractors will go to work, and there will be more food, more corn, more cassava coming out of this area into the city. The Honorable Minister waves. He makes his way down. His strategic leaders and senators and members of House will stand beside him for the group photograph when he comes down from the grader. And we'd like to hear another round of applause for that flag off, please. A big round of applause to show that it has been flagged off. And then the Honorable Minister comes down for a group photograph with strategic partners and the contractors. And that group photograph is the last thing that happens for this event. time to call media 
to please play the national anthem at this time. much for coming for this project flag off this event now stands closed my name is Eugenia Abu it has been a pleasure to serve please make pathway for the minister to enter his vehicle and depart thank you very much for coming